Hello and welcome to another Blender Cookie tutorial. This is David Ward and now we have the part three of El Dragon. Um, what I want to do is kind of edit the body style some, uh, lengthen the tail out and the neck and then go ahead and add on his claws and we might, if we got some time, maybe we'll jump in and start working on his wings. If not, well, we'll do them in part four. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I want to do, like I said, is extend the neck a little bit oops and remember I'm selecting the loops of faces there by holding down alt to select the face and since I have multiple ones already selected and I want to select those and keep those selected I just hold down shift so shift alt and then right click on one of the edges and it'll select the ring of faces so now I'm gonna hit O to turn on the proportional editing I'm just going to drag it down and kind of scroll my mouse wheel as I'm going to get the fall off to affect the neck. And as you can see, it's kind of getting messy there on the neck. But we will clean that up here as soon as we get our body about where we want it. I don't want to mess with the head at all, just the body. So that'll probably be good right there. Now, as you can see, it's really messy here on the neck. So something we can do to clean that up. Let's go ahead and get the vertex select mode and I'm going to hold down alt and select that loop and I'm going to hit X and I'm going to delete the edge loop. Boom, right there. And it deletes that out. I don't think you can do multiple ones at a time. No. So just do it one at a time, edge loop. And don't worry, it's, it'll look bad once we get these deleted but we can easily fix it with a little trick that I discovered recently. Okay, so now we got some issues going on here. It's like we need to smooth that up quite a bit. So something to do, let's go to the edge select mode. And uh, this little trick I found out, which um, I think uh, Jonathan might mention in his training. But um, you, if you hold down okay you go control R to get the to, to get the ring put in there right if you scroll your mouse wheel up you can add multiple rings how about that so we'll add just a few just let's add three and then let's grab this one and just kind of get the general shape going to the back the way we want kind of make it sort of a, a backwards s and the, the cuts are still a little messier than I'd like. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the proportional editing. A little messier than I'd like. So let me do this. I'm going to rotate it to where it's about about as evenly flat, if that's a good way to call it, as possible. And I'm going to scale it, hit S, on the z-axis, z, 0%. So I'm going to flatten it on the z-axis and I hit 0 on the keyboard. Now just click out and you can see that it's perfectly flat now. So let's do that with this guy as well. Rotate it. Scale it Z, 0. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do it with this guy as well. Rotate. Okay. So now we've got a lot cleaner looking edges there. We'll go ahead and rotate them back around. And grab this guy. Okay, so that's kind of starting to take shape a little bit closer to the end product that I want to see but it's as you can see it still needs some extra loops and it's a little messy right here so I'm going to go ahead and polish that up just a little bit first grab my vertex select mode and just I guess I can go ahead and turn on the proportional editing again let's get these guys make the purport the fall off way down let's get those a little closer in there so it's a little bit flatter and drag that up some okay and that's that's looking okay I guess okay so now let's go ahead and add a couple of rings in here like so and let's add two of them right there take that and let's add a couple of them up here there we go zoom in so we can see what we're doing a little better And since this is his neck, I'm going to go ahead and add one extra piece right there. Move it up some. Okay. 
that's looking a little better okay uh, I know there's some rough patches on there here and there but uh, we will clean that up once we get the the rest of the the shape pretty well done then we'll go back in and polish it up so um, is kind of bugging me a little bit though let's see if we can scale that on the y-axis some a little bit more that's better maybe this guy right here can be a little bit less Why? there we go okay let's go ahead and save I'm going to save this as dragon 3 because this is part 3 save save over the previous one that I was playing with earlier okay so now let's go ahead and lengthen that tail out kind of the same way that we did with the neck let's just grab the final tip of it like right there and we're going to move it and let's get our fall off up and this doesn't look like it's getting too ugly we may not have to clean it up that much rotate it down some yeah that's all right Okay, one thing I'd like to add to our style, go ahead and save, is a couple of fins to help him, maybe when he's flying, it'll help him steer in the wind. So let's do that. Let's go in, get our face select mode, and let's grab, let's say this one, this one. Actually, just go into side view, hit three on your numpad, and then zoom out and zoom back in as you need to. And let's hit B to get our crosshairs, and let's select those three, and we'll get these three also. And now, let's go to top view, and let's extrude out just a little bit, and go ahead and hit O to turn off your proportional editing. Let's scale it on the Y axis a little, and then we'll extrude out some more, and scale that on the Y axis also and extrude out a little bit more and once again scale on the y-axis okay so now we kinda got a nice fin thing going on here and it's kinda bending up there which I don't want so let's grab these corners right here and bring them up and then back some and let's do the same thing with this here bring that up that's better might need some polishing but like I said we'll do all that later okay go ahead and save it's kinda of looking a little strange here because you know we're in orthographic view so if we hit 5 on our numpad we can go in perspective view you can see it looks a lot better there so but I like when I'm working I like to keep everything flattened out so back to orthographic view and we'll go ahead and save it's starting to look like a Loch Ness monster or something huh? Um, let's work on the body now a lot of people were saying it looked a little weird, so let's see if we can't remedy that. Um, let's see. I want to make kind of a more of a triangular shape, maybe, where the the big thick muscles are at the front and then the kind of taper down to the back. So he's got these big strong arms, and then it, his torso up here is also going to control the wings. So wings need muscles; they're not just strapped on like a Halloween costume or something so if he's gonna flap those wings he's gonna need some muscles to do it with okay so to select pretty much all of his hind quarters go ahead and deselect that one go into side view and let's turn back on proportional editing and let's just scale it down and get our fall off way down so and then kinda just move it into place about like so there we go it's looking a little better huh save save often as I always say and now we'll start working on the the claws I'll go ahead and just for the sake of uh, avoiding confusion the front legs I will call arms and then the front claws and and paws I guess I will call hands and then the back legs will be legs and feet so we'll kinda give him some personification make him a little more humanistic by giving giving his limbs human names anyways uh, let's I want to kind of give him sort of a ninja turtle look where he's got two fingers and a thumb in the front so basically three digits on the front on his hands and then his feet will just have two so let's go ahead and do that I want to go into edit mode of course and let's select 
this loop at the bottom of his arm. I'm going to side view. And I want to go ahead and, and put a face, you know, flatten that out and get that a face so it's not open. Uh, so I need to give it an even number of vertices. And you can kind of see, or you can't kind of, you can definitely see how many vertices you have selected in the loop. By going right here, you see VE, that stands for vertices, and then edges and faces. And then the name of your model right there. Speaking of, it's named Cube. Let's go ahead and rename that. Where's my name? Right there, item. Let's call it Dragon. Okay, and now you can see that changed right there. Go ahead and save. Okay, so now, uh, like I said, we need an even number to give it some faces, so I need to give it one more vertex. So I'm going to Control R right here, because there's a nice open space there. Go ahead and click, and click again. Now I select all of them, and you see it's 20 vertices. So now let's work on sewing this together. Uh, let's see, kind of an even way to do this. Let's start, go this one and this one, and well, let's see. There's 20 all together. Let's, let's do the middle, so they'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this one and this one, and then this guy's, I guess, is the ones I had selected. Good guess on my part. And then I'll go ahead and select these guys. Face. I'm hitting, I'm selecting four because it's a four sided polygon. And then I hit F to give it a face. These guys, and then here, face. And you can see here, if I try to grab these four and hit F, well, I guess it worked. Let me back out so I can show you an issue you might run into. I'll turn off my proportional editing. Okay. So this vertex is way out front. Let's grab these four guys. We got four vertices selected, but if we hit F, well, <laughs> trying to show an example here, and it's not supposed to work, but it is. I'm trying to give it, maybe it'll work now. No? Okay. Well, anyways, one issue you might run into if your vertices are off skewed like so. No? No. Is it? It'll tell you that it needs to be more of a more of a square shape rather than you know like an L shape or something that it might have. But it seems to be working now, so disregard. Um, actually, I don't want to put a face there yet because I want to do some extra. I want to delete that edge. I want to do some some more to this before I totally close it off. So let's kind of get to a point where we can do that. Three, four. Okay. So now I want to grab all of these new edges here and I want to, let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's d subdivide it twice. Subdivide twice. And then we can give the number of cuts over here. Just subdivide and then go give it the number of cuts. The reason I did that is so I have more faces on the feet, which I will need when I start adding the toes and such. The reason I added two is so that I could add more faces evenly, like so. And then the same over here. Okay. Let's kind of straighten that up some. Speaking of straightening up, let's go ahead and just jump into sculpt mode and grab the smooth tool. That way we can just kind of run it over there. Get that nice and straightened up. Okay. So I kind of got a little stump leg there. Let's see if we see what we can do to to give it give him a nice mean looking claw. Let's get the face select mode and let's select all of these faces that we just made here on the bottom. Okay. And I want to go ahead and flatten them out. So I'm going to scale it on the Z axis zero times. Just like I did with those neck rings. Okay. And I want to scale it on the X axis some. Let's rotate it. I want to get some more room right here, so I'll just move that. Grab my red cursor there and move that out. Like so. Okay. Alright, so let's give him the three. 
I'm gonna smooth this one up too. Uh, just grab that loop and W smooth and just do that a few times. Okay, that's a little better. Um, I want to add one more ring right here. And now let's get. See, this will be like his. The equivalent of his pinky. I don't want those guys. And then his other. His index finger, I guess, will be over here. Let's go ahead and grab these as well. Okay. So let's extrude out just a little bit so we can get a nice crease right there. And let's scale it down. Let's go into side view. Actually, let's, let's go to top view. See what we can do. Extrude and side view. I don't want it to come up too too high. I want it to be like he's kind of doing like a push-up type of thing here on the ground. So let's extrude again. Let's bring it bring it way out here, and then we'll go into side view and we'll make it level with the ground. So, or I guess the ground technically is way up here, but we'll just make it flat and level for when he is on the ground. Extrude out a little bit more, and let's scale it down. Let's drag it out here. Now let's give him a, a knuckle here in the middle, so I'm going to control R and roll up three times. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do one and kind of put it... Mm, right in the middle, I guess. Then I want to add another one right by it. So Control R and just drag my mouse right there, and then another one on this side. Control R, drag my mouse, and then I'm going to grab that first one. I'm going to scale it down, and then and then drag it up. So we kind of got a little a little finger there with the with the knuckle there in the middle, but it's kind of ugly right now. So let's. Jump in the old sculpt mode, get the grab tool, and let's kind of just start pushing, pulling until it kind of gets a little closer to an even shape. Get the knuckle up there a little bit more. Yeah. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and kind of make it come up a little higher there on his hand. And we got a nice defined knuckle there. Let's go ahead and define it a little bit better where it attaches to his hand. So let's just go to edit mode. And let's add a couple of rings right there. And then we'll put one in between these two guys right here. And then scale that kind of down. Scale it down like we did with that other knuckle and then just drag it up. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty decent. Let's go ahead and get the grab tool and clean it up a little bit more. Grab's already selected, okay. Zoom in a little bit, just kind of round this out just a tad. There on the bottom. Okay, almost there. And we will call. We'll call that good. That's his pinky. And I would like his other two fingers to look, well, his finger and his thumb, if you want to get technical, to look almost identical, except maybe different sizes. So what I want to do, go to edit mode, and we'll use the old visible thing up there again. The, the I don't know what you'd call this, the scene information, I guess. And let's select that loop there, and we have, okay, 10 vertices selected. So that means I need to select 10 vertices over here. Let's see, how many is that? 10, boom, just the amount I need. So I'm going to get rid of these faces inside here, the, those six faces that's making this up. Delete the faces, and now let's select that ring again. And I'm going to select that ring, and let's zoom in. That ring, that ring. I'm going to select this whole toe, 
or excuse me, finger. And instead of trying to do, instead of trying to recreate it, I'll just duplicate it and just drag it over. Shift D, and then we'll rotate it around the Z axis. Okay. Drag it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Let's see what it looks like in the front view. Might need to skew it some. A trick you can do to skew uh, without having to really go in there and edit vert vertex by vertex is to, uh, instead of right here, your, your transform orientation, just go to view. And then anything you do will only be confined to the x and y coordinates of your viewing area. So right now, if I scaled it on the z axis, it would, it would flatten like so. But, and then if you notice these coordinate these axes don't change because they're still attached to the screen so I want to make it a little bit wider this way so I'm gonna rotate my scene around until I get my toe lined up about how I want and now if I grab the scale manipulator mode I can grab the end of that green one and just scale it like so and you can see it's kinda of rounding it out a little bit closer to the way I want okay so that's that's about where I want it. So let's let's turn change the orientation back to global, and now let's get the the hand itself ready to be attached to this finger. So let's let's get these guys lined up a little bit better. And you can see I still have the scale manipulator back on. Let's go ahead and get the translate. Let's widen that hole so the finger will fit. Okay, let's bring it a little closer. I select one of the vertices in a vertex and hit Control L, and it will select all of those that are attached to it. And I'll just drag it down there on the Y axis so it's a little closer to the hole that we've made. Now let's sew this one onto the hand. So let's select four. and then same down here let's move these back a little bit so we can see what we're doing a little easier okay there's four and four right there four right there it's gonna get kinda mismatched sort of but we can we can always clean it up It's a lot easier to clean something up than it is to create it again to, to make it new. So, almost done, and boom. Okay, so we got that other toe on there, and it's not looking too bad. Let's go ahead and, and clean it up, though. Let's go into Sculpt Mode, and Grab is already selected. So let's uh, start pushing and pulling on here so we can get it looking a little better might get the smooth tool at this point kinda just run it in here a little bit more Okay, grab, let's move this back just a little bit. See if we can get that definition back on there. Okay. You know what? I don't know if he really needs that thumb. Come to think of it, I kind of like that look, just like it is here. He can still grip things, you know. Uh, his little fingers are long enough to be able to fold under and, and grip something. So you know what? I'm not going to give him a thumb. Let's kind of clean this palm area up. Get to grab the smooth tool there and just kind of smooth this area up some. Kind of give him some definition of a 
have the impression of like a knuckle on the underside here. Kind of a palmy looking type of thing. Okay, so that's looking all right. Let's see if we can't move this crease over or kind of make it look like it's moved over. Let's get this smooth tool. There we go. And I want to kind of separate the hands from the forearm just a little bit better. And also want to make this, this kind of bugging me right here. Get the grab tool. Grab that and move that forward some. Make this elbow a little more pronounced. Let's go ahead and add some, some more rings in here so we can get some better definition. Yeah, I definitely need some there. So put one there, and let's go ahead and put one here, and then maybe one more right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and smooth this up a little bit. It's looking a little, a little odd. So smooth. Lightly touch that up. There we go. I got some weirdness going on right there. And his shoulders are a little broad right there, so let's smooth those up some. Let's get the grab tool. Let's broaden that chest up a little bit. Okay, now let's work on those back legs. Tell you what let's do. Let's just kind of save some time and just kind of clone the front legs, or duplicate, if you will. Let's select that edge, see how many vertices we're working with. Working with 17 now. And if we select, say, this loop right. Let's grab that one, I guess. We've got 20. So we need to add three vertice vertices to this back leg. So let's see what we can do to do that. Let's probably use a couple maybe here on the side so let's control R right there so now let's select all of them see now we have 18 need two more uh, this could use one right here and maybe one here on the front I'm afraid you can see that pink it's kinda of putting it across the whole model and I don't want to do that so Let's see where else we could put it. How about right? Zoom out some. Maybe on this guy. No, it's still doing it across the whole thing. Maybe. Hmm. Let's put it right. There we go. Let's we'll put it right there. All right. So now if we select this. Boom. 20 vertices. All right. So let's grab the front and make sure we get the whole loop. There we go. I want to deselect these guys back here. So I hit B and then held down Alt to deselect those. I'm going to Shift D, copy that back, and let's scale it down quite a bit. I'm going to move it up here. And I'm not going to attach it right there because I want to kind of give the elongated foot effect here. And we'll worry about proportions here shortly after we get this attached. Scale that down. Rotate that some. I want to extrude to about right there. Oh, we need to move this guy in too. So Control L, select all those. Move it over. And now we will start the sewing it together process of those guys. Select four and hit F. That's all you got to do. Looks like it's starting to get off, starting to get offset. But don't worry, we have an even number. We counted them. The information told us. So let's just to make us <laughs> ourselves feel better. Let's go ahead and start working the other direction. That's a big, big part of the problem right there. Looks like it's skewed a little bit. But oops. 
There we go. Had the wrong vertex selected. This topography is looking a little ugly, but at least we can see what we can do to clean it up here after we get it attached. Oops. Four of them. Not that guy. There we go. And these guys. Boom. Okay, so now it's attached. Let's see what we can do to clean that up some. So let's go into sculpt mode and get the grab. Just kind of push that, push and pull that until it looks about how we want. Let's go in the side view. It's going to be kind of like. Uh, it's not that he's got backwards knees, it's that his foot is really long and he's kind of standing on his toes, if you want to think of it like that. That's a really sharp crease right there. Let's smooth that out some. That's a really weird looking thing there. Get that smoothed out. Looking a little better. Grab tool. Let's kind of try to even this out up here. It's looking real ugly right there. So let's try to smooth that some. All those extra loops we put in here kind of gave it too many edges. Okay. So now we've got the back legs pretty well set. Let's go ahead and try to even these out. Let's go back into edit mode. And let's grab these front feet, front hands. Don't want that. Try to get that whole loop there. Okay. And let's turn on the proportional fall off. And let's turn it, hit Alt O to put it on the uh, connected part where it only affects the vertices that are nearby that are connected to it. It's like it's not going to affect his belly because it's not directly connected to it. So just move those down. About like so. That's not looking too bad, huh? And save. And like I said, we'll come back in later on and and polish it up some more, add the, some of those creases back on the corner so we still keep that style. Um, something I want to do before we go any further is uh, give him some claws onto his toes. I'm going to go ahead and make this back leg come up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to copy uh, his teeth, one, or his two, one of his teeth, control L. Uh, let's get a bigger one. There we go. Shift D, duplicate that down. Way down. And we're going to make this into a claw. Make sure we don't get it too close to the center, or it'll glue itself to it. Glue itself to itself. Zoom in here, rotate it. Just get that rotated around until it's pointing the right direction or near it and it's kind of ease up some of the squareness on here turn off O turn it off there we go okay now scale it up big old claws move that over in top of of the finger, toe, finger, whatever. <laughs> Make 
make it a little bigger. Okay, kind of get a view of what it's going to look like over there. No, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so let's go on a top view, and let's shift D, duplicate that, and let's rotate it around and put it on the smaller, smaller claw, smaller toe. How's that looking? That's looking okay. Okay, so now select both of them, control L, go on a side view, and we're going to duplicate these to the back feet, and we'll go ahead and scale them down. They should be pretty well in the right arrangement already. I hit Z on my keyboard just now to go to wireframe view, so I can see through the model a little bit better. So I just got to scale them down and then move them into place. Need to be a little bit bigger until they kind of match up with the toes. And then we'll go on side view and then we'll move them down. And Z back to solid view. And there we go. It's a piece of cake. Okay. That belly's looking a little funny. Let's let's touch that up just a little bit real quick. Get the old smooth tool. Gonna run that in there. I ought to add some extra loops in there. Tab in edit mode. Yeah, I probably need to add at least one right there and maybe one right here. Okay. get that to look a little better. Getting there. Let's get this flattened tool and try to see what we can do with it. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Oops, a little too much there on the belly. So let's just do it. Let's turn the strength way down. Maybe that's not the tool I want to use. Let's undo. Let's just go into edit mode and see what we can do. Yeah, let's just grab these guys. Let's go on a side view. Let's just drag them up. We're dragging on the dragon. <laughs> there, that's a little better. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And he's looking a little funny here in orthographic view, so we turn to perspective view. That looks better. Okay, go ahead and save again. I guess you don't have to save every time you save. Save and then save right away again. Um, got a little bit of time left. I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and frame out the wings, and then in part four we'll probably go ahead and we'll we'll wait and put the webbing on it then. So let's go to edit mode. Wings are gonna come out right here. No, you know what? Let's bring them down. Let's put them right there. Yeah. Okay. So let's extrude once. Scale it down. And let's W, smooth. Let's do it a couple more times. Try to round that out some. Get the vertex mode. And let's round that out. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. And let's go ahead and select those six guys again. Extrude up just a little bit. Scale it down. Extrude up. Again. Scale it down. So if you watched the feathery wing tutorial that I made. Um, I'm going to treat this kind of like kind of like an arm. So it's going to come down. This is going to be a shoulder and it's going to come to an elbow and then come up to a wrist and then go out like a hand. So it's going to make a little, a little S shape. So let's come up there and we'll extrude again a little bit and rotate it. Actually, I guess this arm part probably doesn't need to be quite that long. There we go. Grab that. Okay. Let's 
extrude a little bit and kind of rotate it around so we'll get that nice smooth curve there and then extrude up some more. Let's go ahead and bring it up. About like so. And then we will extrude a little bit again and make, like I said, the sort of the wrist area. And then we'll extrude on out. Scale it down. Extrude a little bit more. And boom. Okay, so we're kind of getting the, the wing shape going on here. Kind of got some weirdness going on right there. So we'll stand by, grab the old smooth tool. Just run that in there. Clean it up slow but sure. Let's go up here. Okay, that'll work for now. Um, I would like to go ahead and sharpen this up some. Let's add a couple more loops in here. There, get that a nice sharp edge. Same thing down here, add a couple more. Okay, oops, control Z that. Let go of it first. Oh, come on. Huh, keyboard's button stuck. Come on now, let go. Okay, done? Yes, undo. Undo, there we go. All right. Save. Now I want his wings to be a lot bigger than this. So let's go to edit mode. Let's put our 3D cursor right at the base of the wing. Right there. And let's go ahead and select all these pieces of it. Get my vertex select. And go ahead and turn on O for the proportional fall off. Let's turn it down some though. And I want to scale it the pivot pointer on the 3D cursor. So let's scale it way up. Gonna have some muy grande wings. Let's move them forward there. Let's kind of make the base a little bit bigger as well. About like so. And we will, of course, come in and polish this up once we get everything set the way we want. And uh, I think I'm going to call that good on this part three. Um, let's go ahead and save. And obviously, it still needs some cleanup, but don't worry about that. We will get we'll finish up with the wings in in part four, and we will go ahead and clean up. One thing I'd like to do really quick. It's kind of bugging me. The head looks a little unproportional from the body, so let's make it a little bit bigger. Select the head. Ah, computer likes to tell me it needs to update when it does not need to. Oops. Okay, so we've got the whole head selected. We've already hit O for the proportional editing. Let's put our 3D cursor right here at the base of the neck, or base of the head, I guess. Still rotating around it. Okay, go ahead and scale it up some. Make that fall off come through. And now, uh oh, still have the base of the wing selected. There we go. Deselect that. Let's scale that up some. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. Let's undo that and see what before, after. Well, I kind of like it. A little bit too big, though, so let's, let's do it again. Undo that. Scale it up just a little bit. I think I did it too much again. Let's undo. Scale it. Okay. We'll call that good. Let's go ahead and make the eyes, make the eyes bigger too. Let's go into wireframe, select those, 
And let's scale those up as well so they fit back in the sockets. Oops. Z. There we go. Uh, I guess I need to turn off the 3D cursor. Or make it around the median point. There we go. And let's just make it scale along their individual origins. There we go. Scale them up. Not nothing. Hmm. Like they're kind of locked. Seems like I ran into this once before. There we go. Um, sometimes if if you're trying to scale something and it just won't move, uh, turn this off right here because it's manipulating these centers only. Which honestly, I don't know what that means, but turn it off and then you can scale so there we go down scale them up a little bit bigger and then go back to median point and scale it down and it looks like they need to come forward now <laughs> okay that'll work for now Go ahead and save. And uh, I think we'll call this good on part three. So hopefully everyone's liking the direction this guy has taken. Um, I guess if not, we can do some modifications, but uh, I think it looks okay so far. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope this didn't drag on too long. It's about 45 minutes. The previous one was closer to an hour, so maybe this one will download a little faster. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in part four. Hello again, and welcome to another Blender cookie tutorial. This is David Ward, and now we have the ever-elusive part four to the Dragon tutorial. Um, okay, first thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and save this Dragon 03 as Dragon 04. So we have a new version for each section that we've done so far. Um, okay, when last I left you, we had started the wings and had uh, done the, the claws or hands or whatever you want to call them. Uh, there's a couple of tweaks I want to do before we go much further. I want to go ahead and give them three toes instead of just two. And then the front legs and back legs seem to be a little mismatched, so I'll try to even those up. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, go into edit mode and how many did we need Let's see right click I'll hold down alt and right click on the ring there and we can see it has 10 vertices so I think I will put the other toe right here I'll select all of these guys boom and those are only there's only eight there so I need to select one more I guess I'll select these guys back here and we'll kind of have just a <clears throat> excuse me just a a little thumb a little opposable thumb there we go okay so now 10 vertices there we go select these guys just go ahead and delete the faces okay now select this loop here and oops select that loop. well if I can select the right one there we go Select all of these guys, the whole toe, and now I can just hit B and click and drag and select the rest of it. Okay. And I'll just go into hit 7 to go into uh, the top view and uh, Z to go into wireframe view. And I'm going to shift D. I'm going to rotate, oops, turn off the proportional editing. Rotate that around and it looks like it's going to cross that point, that mirror point. So. We're going to have to do some trickery here. Let's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, let's do this. Let's grab his whole front leg. Go into solid, solid view so I can see a little better what I'm doing here. Let's go ahead and select all the way up to, let's go one more loop. There we go. And now we'll turn uh, proportional editing back on. And let's drag it out a little bit. Scroll our mouse wheel to be a little bit bigger so those shoulders kind of come with it. Okay. And now, I don't want to go too far. I'm going to deselect all these guys, and I don't want that loop there. Oops. Don't want that loop there either. And nor do I want this one. Now I'm going to put my 3D cursor right there in the elbow area. Boom, right there. Oh, I can see I have another one selected right there. Deselect that. Okay. 
Now I'm going to rotate around the 3D cursor. Rotate those to point out a little bit. Okay, so now when we get that toe put where it needs to go, control L to select all those, and let's turn the back turn the pivot point back to medium. Top view, go into wireframe, and let's rotate. Ah, turn off proportional editing. Rotate that around, and now we got plenty of space to play with there. Let's go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller. Or actually, let's not make it smaller, just make it shorter. So let's change the orientation here to normal and grab our scale manipulator. Let's see, we need to scale it. Ah, it's not doing the normals like I would like. So let's do the old standby. Let's get perfectly lined up on the side view. So note I'm lining up according to the claws there, as you can see. Okay. Now I'm going to scale the make the orientation around around the view. Now scale like so. And now we have a nice shorter digit there. And let's go into top view yet again and let's root in the uh, start maneuvering that to fit in a little closer to where it needs to go. I'm going to go ahead and select this loop right here. And I want to rotate that. Let's go ahead and turn on the proportional editing again. Let's do the connected this time. Hold down Alt and hit O. And you can see the circle there has is now <clears throat> excuse me has a hole in the middle. So that means it's the connected version rather than the solid, which is the just the normal version. So now the, the only thing that's going to be affected is those vertices connected to these current selected ones. Okay, so just scale that up just a little bit. Rotate it around. Now let's go into solid view and let's go down here and take a look. Um, let's start sewing it together. So let's grab that. Those guys there. F to face. And we will smooth this ugly sewing up after we finish it. Let's see what I need. These guys. Oops. <clears throat> okay, here's the... Uh oh. I made a face on accident sometime. There we go. I had the wrong one selected. Not that guy. This guy. There we go. Okay. And face... It's going to be a little skewed, it looks like. But we can fix that here shortly. Almost done. I think. Uh oh. Okay, here's what I was talking about in, in the previous part where it gives you it can't find a nice square from the selected vertices. So I hit F and you see that little pop-up. Cannot find nice quad from concave set of vertices. That means one of these guys is in the wrong spot to try to make a nice square. So let's maneuver them around. Move that, move that. Okay, so now we have a little bit more natural square going on. So now if we hit, okay. So it needs a little bit more. Let's bring this guy way in here. Bring this guy out. Okay, so now we should be able to. There we go. Let's drag this guy up. Okay, looks like we have one extra selected. Let's select that. Did I miss something here somewhere? I did. I did the wrong part right there. So. That might account for some of that ugliness. Let's go ahead and we won't undo it. We'll just uh, select all these faces here that we made in that loop there. Go ahead and delete those. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, that's I guess that's right. Go ahead and delete them. Control Shift Z redoes. Control Z undoes, and 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 Control Shift Z redoes. Redoes, undoes, redoes. Okay, now. We'll try to get a nicer looking setup going on here. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh oh. It's like we're out of skew yet again. There we go. And one more. Get rid of those guys. Okay. Now I got that other thumb toe attached. And it looks a little weird. So let's see what we can do to clean that up. So I'm just going to sculpt mode. Grab the smooth tool, jump in here, ever so lightly, smooth that up. And let's make it look a little more natural. Let's try to do that. We'll, we'll use the old fashioned way, let's go into edit mode. And let's make sure the, let's go ahead and turn on the normal just go to enabled instead of the connected let's just kind of push and pull with the vertices instead of trying to do it with the sculpt tools that way we can kind of see exactly what we're doing as we're doing it kind of get the little palm type of shape going on here Notice I'm kind of rolling my mouse ball as I'm dragging and changing the changing the fall off as I'm going. So that helps sometimes. Actually, it helps more than sometimes. It helps a lot, a lot of times. So. Okay, how's that looking? A little better. I think I need to give him a little more separation between his his hand and his forearm, so we need to give him a wrist. Let's go in here and let's select this guy, and Alt-S will scale him down along his normals, which may not be the best look there. Let's, let's smooth that up. W smooth. can do that a few times. Let's do that on this guy as well. Smooth. And this guy. It's looking a little better. We've got some weird looking deformations here on the top of the form. So let's jump into sculpt mode. Get the grab tool and we'll do it. Do it this way. Kind of clean this up. Uh oh. Sculpt tools are a little antsy at point at sometimes, some points. Ah, make sure you've let go before you try to move the scene around. I guess. There we go. Let's move this over some. All right, that's looking a little better, huh? Some big old claws there. Uh, let's try to, let's see. He's a stylistic dragon. He's kind of got some, you know, I don't know what you would call it, but the small, middle, and large extremities. Like, uh, his body's small, but his claws are pretty big, and his head is pretty big compared to his body. So let's bring that style on into these legs. Let's uh, Let's grab this whole claw part down here and okay that'll be good and now let's uh, make sure that we have our proportional fall off on it it is and let's uh, let's scale it up and increase the fall off of it don't want them to meet in the middle because they'll glue themselves to each other we don't want that so a little bit smaller about right there how's that look yeah, that kind of matches his head a little bit better now. What do you think? Let's see what we can do on the back feet now. Anyway, probably want to go ahead and add that third third claw to the back leg, the back foot as well. 
kind of liking where this is going, kind of not. Let's keep going with it, see what, we, see what it looks like. Let's go into perspective view. Zoom in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go in. Let's uh, let's not give him a thumb toe more per se. Let's give him another smaller toe. So let's uh, let's select all this little pinky toe. Okay. Go to top view. Out of perspective. Shift D. Duplicate. And let's turn off proportional editing. There we go. Just move him around. Kind of get him about. Let's try to make it fairly even. About like like a bird's hind legs, basically. So like that. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see about attaching it. We need. Let's go with these guys right here. Let's see. I think I can get away with just selecting these guys. And that should be should be 10 vertices. Let me delete it and we'll find out if it is not. I will undo. And that guy. Okay, what do we got? 10 vertices. How about that? Now let's go smooth that up just a little bit. Should have done that with the front one probably as well, but you live and you learn. All right, okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's rotate this out some and bring it out some and let's get this guy rotate him in go ahead and turn on alt o to turn on the connected version scale that way down let's, let's scale it up some <clears throat> okay now let's go ahead and start sewing it together let's start right here these guys F for face, remember? Okay. Let's move this guy's kind of in my way here. Turn off, fall off. There we go. If you're in connected mode and you hit O, you have to hit it twice to actually come fully out because it wants to go back into normal mode first. So if you're having problems coming out of it like that, then that's why. Okay. Almost there. And one more. Boom. All right. Now this hopefully won't need ah control Z. Ah we got this stuck keyboard again. Okay, control Z. Control Z. There we go. Yeah, that didn't look too bad. Requires a little bit of cleanup. Let's try to see if we can do that in edit mode. Fall off. Oh. out some okay there, there we go that looks pretty good let's rotate those out too he kind of looks pigeon toed right now doesn't he just going to side view and let's grab all of these guys and let's uh, put the 3d cursor right there where it needs to go to be centered up and we'll, we'll rotate around the 3d cursor and let's rotate on the z-axis and let's move that fall off up some Okay. Okay. Now let's do like we did with the front legs, and let's make them quite a bit bigger. Actually, let's turn off the 3D cursor. Make it make it to medium point. There we go. <clears throat> Scale that up. Increase this. Let's make it to Alt O, so it's connected. There we go. Down some. Scale it up down some, scale it up, let's drag it up now, let's make it evenly 
like it's on a flat surface. Okay. So that's looking a little better. Uh, let's try to even up. I guess it's not too bad now. Front leg, front thighs and rear thighs, if you can call them that, look a little more even now. <clears throat> I would like to tweak them just a little bit. Let's grab that and scale it on the y-axis some. There we go. <clears throat> All right, that's looking okay. Let's go ahead and save it. And now we can obviously see a little bit of messiness right around in here. So let's see if we can't just zap that with the smooth tool real quick. Okay. okay. A little bit more. Clean up this whole area a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Now. We got the uh, the legs pretty well cleaned up, and let's go ahead and save it. Now, what everyone's been waiting for, the wings. Let's get in here and jump in here. Now, one thing I was looking at this file a little bit earlier, I noticed there must have been an extrusion of uh, uh, on accident at some point, could because I can see some extra vertices in here that don't need to be there. So. Let's get rid of those by, let's go, let's go back to the uh, translate uh, manipulator there. Hold on, Alt, let's select that loop, hit X. I'm going to delete the edge loop there, and then do it again on, on, on that one right there. X, delete the edge loop, and I cleaned it up. But now, let's go back to object mode. Uh, now, We've got some ugliness going on up here, the very tip. So what let's do <clears throat> is grab all, grab your face select mode, hit A to clear out your all your selections. Then we'll click, hit B, and then click and drag to select all of those guys. And let's go into side view. Actually, let's go into front view, and let's rotate our view. can hold down alt and then left click to drag around this is assuming you've done the user preferences and uh, turn on the emulate three button mouse so we're line that up to where it should be fairly straight this way in our view and we're still in view orientation so let's scale that on the z-axis actually we don't want to scale on z-axis like that we need to do the manipulator mode like this grab the green one and scale it all the way down till it's flat do it one more time get it a little better okay so now we'll go in here and look and we see we've got some messiness there let's go ahead and delete those faces and we will create some new ones so let's get Let's attach those, create a face, and we'll go subdivide. And let's do it twice. Okay. Now we'll grab these four. F for face. Okay, almost done. Boom. Let's see how easy that was to clean that up. It's a little ugly now. So one thing I will uh, an easy thing to do to get let's it skewed this way. We need to kind of scale it this way maybe to to get it to clean up so let's do the same thing we did let's rotate this around to where it's the direction it needs to be in our viewport and let's select all of those two guys there and we're going to scale it on the green and boom let's do the same thing with this guy here and you know what all of these could stand to be squared up a little bit better Okay. Now the wing got a little too thick, I think, in my opinion. So let's thin it up some. <clears throat> I want to make this a little cleaner, like so. Remember, I'm still in the viewport, or in the view 
uh, orientation. So everything I do, I may have to make sure it's lined up evenly the direction I want. Like so. This guy needs to come a little flatter like this. This guy. Rotate just a little bit to get it straightened up. Now let's turn off the disable the proportional editing. There you go. These are all pretty well flattened up the way I want. I want to make this whole thing a little skinnier, like so. This guy could be a little skinnier too. This guy definitely needs to need some help there. Let's do this guy as well. Let's go ahead and while we're at it, might as well do these guys. Okay, and let's see. I guess this guy can stand to be cleaned up as well. And why not? This guy too. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got our, our wings pretty well cleaned up. Now we start adding the little joints. Like I said, uh, this is kind of acts as the shoulder and then the forearm. And then I guess this area right here could act as the hand. And then these guys will all be fingers, more or less. And then we'll attach another one here and then another one here. And he'll have three fingers here with webbing in between. <clears throat> so, okay, and let's see. I guess this guy can stand to be cleaned up as well. And why not? This guy too. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So we got our, our wings pretty well cleaned up. Now we start adding the little joints. Like I said, uh, this is kind of acts as the shoulder and then the forearm. And then I guess this area right here could act as the hand. And then these guys will all be fingers, more or less. And then we'll attach another one here and then another one here. And he'll have three fingers here with webbing in between. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get all these guys that we need to create a finger right there. Let's see how many did we get? Three. Three will be fine. And let's try to make it lined up in the view like so. And we'll extrude once just to get it out there. Let's kind of scale it down just a little bit. And we'll extrude again just to get it out there and just drag, click, uh, hold, uh, press G on your keyboard and then just drag your mouse and get it way out there. Let's, let's put it right there and then rotate it like so. Let's add, since we're going to add the webbing, we need to have an even number of, of divisions here. Let's go into edge select mode so I can see what I'm doing a little better. So I need to have two separate divisions. You know what? I want more than that. Let's add a ring right there and right there and why not right there. So now we need one, two, three, four, five cuts. So remember that trick we learned earlier, control R to put our cut on there. We see that pink line. If we scroll our mouse wheel up, it'll do it more. So we need five of those. Boom, five. Click. Now it's all separated out five times. This will be a finger sort of, division of the wing. I want to make it a little thinner towards the tip, so let's get that lined up in the view. Okay, and uh, turn on the fall off, and let's scale it down some and make our, our uh, fall off quite a bit bigger so we can get that whole finger. There we go, should be good. About like that, there we go. Okay, go ahead and save. Now we'll do one more this way and then start connecting them. Okay, let's add another loop right here.
and you know what? Let me undo that. This guy's butted right up against the first finger, so we'll have the third finger do the same thing right there. Okay, and line it up to where it's in the side view. Okay, you kind of judge the line up by the dots here on these faces and then this the, the cut right there. Kind of line it up by just lining them all up like so. Okay, that looks extrude out. And let's turn off the, actually leave the fall off on. Let's just uh, turn it way down. Scroll your mouse wheel way up. Let's scale that down some. Actually, let's turn it off for this. Scale it down. Let's move it down some. And then rotate it. Turn, turn it back on. Rotate it. And then let's extrude out way down this way, like so. OK. Then we needed five cuts in there. Control R. There we go. Okay. Now, this is going to be a little different. Um, well, I'll get to that here in just a second. Let's, let's start adding the webbing. And I want to do that by getting rid of this center. Let's see if I can just click on. There we go. Nope, that did the whole loop. I don't want the whole loop. So. Uh, I just want to select what's visible. I don't want to accidentally select the back, so I'm going to turn on the limit selection to visible. So now when I click, I don't have to worry about clicking the back on accident. So let's get all of these guys. And that one. And hit delete. Delete just the faces. Now let's go to vertex select mode and let's start kind of doing like we did on the toes sew these together like so okay you kind of see it starting to take shape all right oops the wrong one that one okay And finally, this guy. Oops. There we go. Okay. Kind of see it starting to take shape. Don't worry. We're going to add some more cuts in here so we can get a nice arc in the tip of it there. Let's go to this side. Do the same thing. And let's turn off the limit to visible now. Okay. And one more on this side. Ah, I can select the right one. There we go. Okay, now seal it up by selecting those guys there. F. Okay, so now we have the full wing tip. The first between the first web the webbing between the first two fingers. And like I said, let's add some cuts in here. Undo that. Let's do the old fashioned, the new way. Control R and then roll our mouse wheel up a few times. Okay. Now let's select this, get everything lined up in the side view. And just move it in and let's roll up our, our uh, fall off for the editing mode. Okay, there we go. All right, now got a little bit more work to do. Do the same thing on the other guys. <clears throat> the 
the face select mode and boom you know what to save some time I'm gonna pause the recorder and I'm gonna go ahead and do this since it's just a repetition of what we already did I'll save time so you don't have to watch the whole thing and uh, just go ahead and pause the recorder and then I'll come back after I've finished so be right back actually you know what I just discovered um, since I did those cuts up there it added a lot more faces in here so it's going to be a little difficult to uh, to do these evenly. So let's go ahead and undo. Let's come into object mode and control Z a couple times and boom. Cleaned it up. So now I will go in and pause and do that, uh, do the other wing here. And then we'll go back later and, and cut it up there. And then it'll also cut it up here. So we don't have to worry about having an uneven number of... Uh, of uh, vertices in here. So, okay, so hold on, be right back. Okay, I got the other part of the wing taken care of. Um, one thing that I noticed with my current um, setup here is I had to create some triangles in here, as you can see. And as we all know, triangles are very frowned upon when you're modeling because they can create some strange deformations when you go to animate. So let's go ahead and clean those up. And a way to do that is let's just grab two edges of it and Alt M, and we'll merge them at the center together. And we'll and effectively have to delete this first ring that we made for this second finger. So we'll have to do some some uh, clean up here in a little while to get that nice separation going back in here so let's, let's go through there and clean all those guys up and there we go okay so now you can see we got some weird things going on there which we could add a ring right here which I guess we can go ahead and do that actually let's undo that let's wait till we get the rest of the wing done before we jump in and do any more of that. Um, what I want to do now, it's going to take some, some thinking a little bit. I want to attach another webbing, but I want to not attach it to the wing itself, but to the body. So it's going to attach, say, about right here on his back. So I need to kind of figure out how we're going to do that. Uh, I got a good idea. Let's go ahead and delete out these faces that we're going to replace with the webbing. Come on down. Oops. And back a little bit. Um, that'll be good. Let's just delete those faces right there. And now, get your vertex select mode, and we're going to kind of cut the gap, if, if that makes sense, close the gap, cut some corners here, and just go straight up from the body to the wing, make a face right there. Kind of gives you an idea of what the wing will look like. How are we going to fill this in? Well, let's count. We need to do, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need to cut this 13 times. But we need to take into account these as well. So this can connect here, can connect there, and there. So let's go ahead and do those. Now, you'll have to forgive me. This is kind of my first go at this as well. Let's add another ring here so we don't have to come up with that triangle problem again. We can select the right ones. There we go. Not that one. And that one and that one. Right? Yes. Oh, cannot create a nice quad. So, I need to grab 
Just go ahead and move them down. Okay, so now select those. Right? There we go. And let's do that down here. Tell you what we can do. Let's uh we got those sewn together. We need to add one, two, three more. So let's uh kind of close the gap again right here. Just make a line there, an edge. Is that the right spot? Yes. Okay. So I need to add two cuts right here. Control, oops, undo that. Control R, scroll up twice. Or just scroll up once, actually, and it'll add two cuts. Okay, so now. We will sew this together like so. And even though I've already made a line there, it'll go ahead and complete the face and include that edge there. Okay, so now we're left with an empty space right here. We need to close that off by adding uh, cuts to this face or on the, the very end of the wing that we can close the gap into here. Trying to think of the best way to do this. I think we can get away with adding a few cuts in here. Let's do that. How many? We got one, two, three. Let's add three cuts in here and then bring those down like so. Hopefully that'll work. Three cuts, okay. Hmm. I didn't think to. <laughs> Too far ahead. Un I undid that. Um, well, let's go with my original idea. Let's add one, two, three, four, five cuts on this guy. Four, five. There we go. And let's. Actually, I guess we just need four. Undo. Control R. There we go. Because we need to. Use this corner up here. Okay. Don't need those guys. Need that one. Ah. B and then Alt, click and drag, and it'll deselect them. There we go. So that face there. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah. Okay. Now it's coming along. And now I need to add some cuts on down here. Sad. Oh, right click to undo that or to just get out of it. I'm going to need to add one. We'll add two go now we need to worry about these three guys right here so let's try to see what we can do here there we go and add three cuts boom now we're cooking with fire cooking with grease and uh, Tell you what, instead of creating faces, let's just merge these together as well. And I'm going to merge it at the last one. What that means is it merges it at the last vertex that I selected. So select this one and then this one. This one is the last one that I selected. Alt-M, merge at the last. Okay. Same thing here. And why not? Same thing around these guys. Okay. So now we've got to do the inside. And since we're kind of running in our time, I'll go ahead and pause and we will and I'll do that and then and then un, unpause it so you can see. Because it's like like I said, I, normally I wouldn't pause in the middle of modeling, but since it's tedious, same thing over and over, I'll go ahead and pause because it's the exact same thing um, as we did before. So be right back. 
Huh. And once again, I ran into the problem of cutting it too many times beforehand. So tab out of edit mode and you can kind of get a view of what he's going to look like with his wings. Not too bad, huh? And let's undo a couple times. Actually, I don't want to go out that far. It's going to go back in edit mode and we'll undo. Hopefully we have enough undos in the memory to undo, 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 undo. There we go. And we will come back after we finish the other side and cut, put those cuts in there and then we can attach it because see what happened is when I cut these, it adds an extra vertex in here that I have to try to worry about creating a face for. So undo that and we'll get back in here. So standby. Okay, now we're to the point where we need to cut those again. So let's go ahead and do so. We need to add three cuts. Boom, there we go. So now it did it on both sides, so I don't have to worry about trying to fix it. Okay, so merge it last. Oops, merge it last. Merge it last. Almost done. Okay, now we got our wings attached nicely. Now we need to add a little bit of style to them. So let's add, let's just add two cuts on these guys. And then get the edge select tool, select these edges right here. Make sure um, proportional editing is turned on. And let's raise that up. So we get a nice gradual fall off in there. Okay, select these guys as well. And in here, okay, and let's do it down here as well. Okay, how's that looking? That's looking pretty nice, huh? I like it. Uh, one thing left on the wings is I'd like to kind of add some little little protrusions from each tip here. So let's go into edit mode, select this face here, and let's go into line it up until it's perfectly flat. If I can get there, there we go. Strew it out just once and then turn off, fall off, and drag it out some just a little bit to give it a nice edge there and extrude one more time. Let go and just bring it out and we'll scale it down. You kind of see that it gives it a nice extension past the tip of the wing. So let's do that on this guy as well. Get it rotated around nicely. Sometimes coming in and out of uh, Perspective view helps to get your orientation back. Okay, let's go to the scale manipulator mode. Let's go to view, scale it down, and extrude out just once a little bit. Extrude out again, a little bit, rotate it around, scale it down. Not quite so far. And then finally, the bottom one. Let's flatten that out, extrude a little bit, extrude a little bit more and scale it down. Okay. So that's what he looks like, flat view. Let's do on a perspective view. Ah, nice, coming at you. All right, our dragon is uh, more or less done. Let's uh, see what little things we might need to clean up before we call him before we call him done. Uh, let's see what we got here. Got some little issues going on right there. Let's go into sculpt mode. Get the old grab tool. Grab that. Drag it out some. Okay, I better save this. Okay, let's grab this in here, bring it up some.
So we might have a little bit of issue right here. Let's get the old smooth tool. Clean that up a little bit. Have some issues going on there, so I'll smooth it up a little bit more, maybe. There we go. Smooth up these tips here just a little bit, and a little bit up on this one, and on the final tip there. Okay. Pop into edit mode one more time. Okay, the wings look pretty good, I guess. And I'd like to clean up the foot just a little bit around the thumb area. Let's go back into sculpt mode and let's try to smooth that up just a little. Strength. I think the middle of the index finger, like right there, might need to be a little bigger. Let's Alt A, scale it along its normals. Tap it with the smooth tool. Let's get the grab tool to bring this out some. There we go. That crease right there is bugging me. Go into edit mode. I'll select these these loops right here. W smooth. Let's do that a few times. Uh oh. Undo. Ah. I hate that when the keyboard gets stuck on it like that. Undo that. There we go. Okay, that looks a little better. Okay. Back into orthographic view and let me grab this just a little bit okay well well one final thing so I keep saying well the thing I want to do before I leave is everything else is bigger at the extreme let's make the tail the tip of the tail bigger at it bigger at its extreme also so let's go into edit mode Put the 3D cursor about right there, right in the middle. Let's make sure it's lined up vertically as well. About right there. Select all these guys. And let's uh, turn on proportional fall off and let's scale it up. About maybe like so. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Scale on the global axis. The 3D cursor back where it was. Okay. Scale on the scale out like so. Excuse me. Select these guys here. Scale them down some. Okay. How's that look? I think it'll work. Okay, I'm going to call it good. And hopefully everyone agrees on the style of our f completed modeled dragon. Um, in part five, we'll start getting into texturing this guy. So that'll be it. Uh, hopefully this didn't drag out too long. Um, anyways, I'll quit dragging out even more time, and I will see you in part five. Thanks for watching.